Public utilities know that the energy landscape is changing, and many would like to have community solar as an option for their customers. From past projects, we have found that getting enough people to participate can be a challenge, especially for small towns and rural communities. We thought we could do better using a different approach. For this project, we wanted to build a community solar program with the community, not just for the community. We felt it was important to gauge their interest in how to best build the program to fit their needs. Together, WPPI Energy partnered with municipal utilities, university researchers, regional planners, and community members to engage in a process of research and study to understand the community's interests and identify strategies to make community solar more accessible. Community solar is a model that electric utilities can use to provide access to solar energy. You have one solar array, but it's owned by a lot of different people. So usually the benefits of the system are distributed across a wide variety of people, not just one, one system owner. It's a challenge to do uh, community solar programs, especially for small public power utilities, because they often don't have the, the staff on hand, the financial resources to, to implement a community solar program. So some of the things they should consider is to think about what your customers need, whether they can afford it, and what programs can be implemented in order to make it both accessible and, uh, I guess, engaging for, for your utility customers. Some of the barriers that became evident to us as we worked on the study is cost. The technology itself has been coming down in price uh, precipitously over the last decade, but still trying to find a way that uh, we could make this technology available in a way that uh, wouldn't make these folks have to make other choices about um, the things that they would have to purchase and putting this within their reach was important. Most programs require that individuals pay the cost of participating upfront before you receive any sort of monetary benefits from the program. So for those types of households, it's really hard for them to come up with the, the cash. They don't have the discretionary income. We're trying to take those barriers out of play so that community members can buy as little or as much as they want. They can join with no upfront cost at all, and they can pay in for their share monthly, but at the same time, they're getting, the, they're getting money back for the energy that their panel's producing monthly. It takes that upfront cost completely out of play. Community members could have a, a lot of reservations about participating in a community solar program, and probably the first one is trust, trust in the utility. Because a lot of people have a perception that the utility is really out there to make money, and not necessarily out there with the best interest of the community in mind. You know, their experience is primarily through paying bills, and that's not always people's most pleasant experience of the month. We've had a lot of conversations uh, with community members about community solar, right? Some of these are in public forums, where right? We held a number of public meetings in which we invited the public to come out. Um, other conversations were held sort of more in an interview one-on-one -on -one fashion to where um, we asked them a number of questions and then they would have to give us the opportunity or give them the opportunity to ask questions of us. I've had a big role in facilitating community discussions, in designing a survey that we did across the community, and analyzing the data back from the survey and helping people understand and interpret what we found across the wider community. And based on that, we really need to create a program that, that meets those needs. One of the things that we're finding is that people are maybe even most excited about the idea that their community could be a real leader, could be somebody who's setting the standards for what other communities might do and be able to do. And that gives them a real sense of pride and excitement in what they're doing. We think that integrating income qualified programs and energy efficiency programs could work hand in glove in a community solar project. And that's one of the things we're hoping to do here with this project. You can affect your overall energy bill and not just uh, maybe your electric bill with the solar program. If someone participates in the community solar program, some of the cost benefits that come, so the credits that would end up on your utility bill, can help pay for energy efficiency programs in your home and actually reduce the amount of electricity or energy that your home would use. So marrying those two programs together is a great way to do it. Is this something that would work in the Upper Peninsula? We know that it does. The community uh, utilizing a grant uh, built a solar array at our water treatment facility um, over a year ago and we have over a year of data showing the savings that the plant was able to uh, produce. Um, that usually showing them that and showing it, it, the information and the data that we have on our website 
It's usually something that's very helpful with folks. And also there's a lot of excitement about the program. People are, um, uh, have come to meetings and are asking about when it is that they can uh, look uh, forward to participating in the program and we're looking forward to rolling it out. Thank you.